This is a quick video to show you how to manage your inbox so that you're able to keep track of important email. Um, what you can do here is click on one of your emails and in this instance I'm looking at emails that have come from YouTube to let me know I have a new subscriber. So I'm able to create uh, filters through use of this tab here. Moving down to the bottom, it says mes uh, filter messages like these. So it's already telling me who this message is coming from, but I sometimes get other messages from YouTube, so I also wanted to have it in the subject area. I wanted to have the word subscribed. That will narrow it down to specifically emails that have come from YouTube about subscribers. So I'll do a test search here and see what it comes up with. And it's come up with these five um, emails. So Clicking back up here on more, I can create the filter and I can then create the filter with this search, which is the one I just did. I'm happy with that. And now it gives me some options. So when messages like this come into my Gmail account, ideally what I want it to do is actually skip the inbox. And I want it to go into a folder. So I'll click here to apply a label. And so I have to choose which label and I don't really want it to go in any of these labels. You can see on the side, this is where these labels are found. What I would like it to do is to go into a new label. I'll call it subscribers. Now I could nest that label underneath another uh, category. If I wanted it to fall under work, then I would be able to do that. But I'm just going to leave it in it as its own category and I'll create it here. So now I have, um, I have a new category created on my left sidebar called subscribers and my filter is going to skip the inbox when it gets messages about subscription. It's going to apply the label subscribers and um, I have other options here. I could forward it to um, a different email address. I could delete it. I could mark it as important. Um, and so now at the bottom I can create the filter, but I can also include those five existing emails into the filter I'm about to create. So I'll check that box because I do want them all filtered in together and click on this box. So now if I go back to my inbox, you'll see that all of the ones, all the emails that said subscribed are no longer there and we'll find them over on the left hand side. All of these have been read, so they all appear um, non-bolded, but and also the word subscribers does not have any numbers and parentheses after it. So that means I've checked all of these incoming subscriptions. So the next time I log into Gmail, if the word subscribers has a number after it, then I'll know I should check in there for new subscriptions. So this is a way to handle mail that's coming in that you expect and you want to move into a folder in a specific way. But what if you just have one particular uh, email or you get an email from time to time that you want to keep you want to keep track of. So here's an email from Google and it's got some changes to privacy policy in terms of service. Perhaps I want to decide that these are important. So what I can do is um, I can hold them somewhere in uh, a label. So I can create a label and I'll just call this one important stuff. So I'll create this new label and again I'm not going to nest it. I just like to see my labels and we'll see it appeared over here on the side and now when we look in the inbox we can also see that important stuff is uh, is marked in here with the subject of this email so that's great it's hard to see in this color and if you notice over here we can actually see a small drop down box arrow here and we could change the color of the important stuff coming in so since it's important I'll make it orange and it will change the color and now when we look through this list of, of emails, if I'm trying to find this one, it's, it stands out readily, but I can also find it super easily by just clicking on this one uh, category on the left. So it shows me that one email that I've placed in that folder. Another thing I could do is drag and drop these. So if I was looking to move this particular email over, um, I could I could select it and then with this little hand and holding my left mouse button down I can click it and drag it over to the highlighted filter uh, category title and then drop it in. 
So um, I actually didn't want to do that. So there's an undo button up here. I can undo this action. But anytime you want to move emails into particular folders, you can just select them, grab them, and pull them over to any of these categories. All right, so that should help you get your inbox in order so that you're able to find things when you're looking for them.